so I have an update on the freezer situation. I defrosted it, did some reorganizing, and noticed yesterday that it was no longer freezing. It's still cold inside, but the fan is not circulating. So we have to find a way to get everything out of that freezer and shoved into our other three freezers. And I'm hoping that we can, since it is still cold, um, I'm hoping that we can fix that. So that's where we're at now. So I'm about to make a sweet potato pie because I had sweet potato in my freezer um, that had thawed out by the time we realized that, that it was happening. And so I had it in the freezer for the holidays, but I'm gonna bake it now and that will be my breakfast. And then I'm gonna get back to cleaning this kitchen that, as usual, I mean, I was running extra things through the dishwasher just to clean them um, from like, took them out the drawer, ran them through. Now, as my mind does, oh, where can I put this now? Let's see, you know, I'm always trying to find like a better method or a better system. I don't know, maybe one day I'll figure it out, maybe not. So, we're going to see what kind of shenanigans we can get into today. Come on. No, why I can't remember if I need to blind bake these pie shells or not. I don't think I need to because the pumpkin has to bake. I know whenever I make, um, like, when I make my, um, when I make a lemon meringue pie, I blind bake the crust because once I pour in the filling, it doesn't bake again. So... I'm not sure if this is already sweetened or not. Yes, it is. I hate stringy potatoes. Nope, it tastes freezer burnt, so we're just going to throw it away. <laughs> That's disappointing. So let me stick this back in the freezer. Okay, so here I am going through my drawers in the kitchen and I did move some things around. Um, but the main thing that I did on this day is I have so many utensils, cooking utensils and stuff like that that I don't use all the time. You know, nobody uses all of their stuff all of the time. Like there are some things that are for occasional use and it's too much to put in the drawers, but I don't want canisters of spoons out on my cabinets. So thankfully I have plenty of drawers in this kitchen. And so I decided to take things out that weren't necessary in the kitchen and made room for all of the spoons that I use to cook um, and like pizza cutters, things that aren't used every day, little rubber spatulas. Um, I put those on this opposite side of the snack bar and I kept my main cooking utensils next to the stove.
Okay, so as you can see on the left, that is where I started putting all of my kitchen gadgets, like my spiralizer, my lemon juicer, apple cutter, strainers, things like that. And then on the right side there, in the bottom, I have like my toaster, my small food processor, my immersion blender, some um, um, funnels, stuff like that and then that middle drawer is where i have the middle drawer on the right is where i will have my dish rags dish towels pot holders cup hook bowl huggers and like my ziploc bags and foil and stuff like that and then that top drawer is the regular spoons that i use to cook with on a daily basis Oh, and I do also have my electric can opener in that bottom drawer on the right and my hand mixer as well. I know you don't mean to, but you're blocking my view. I know you got issues, but I got my shit too.
right within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away To the groove and the light the flickers We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Feel the air again, Standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away I'm not afraid to love, not afraid to love you I'm not afraid 
okay so I didn't really move anything to a different location I just put the um, the four pack of Lazy Susans I had got off of Amazon um, I put them in here that way it would make my seasonings more accessible and then I took the small ones that I had in this cabinet and moved them to here to make the medicines more accessible now Aubrey can come in here in the morning and spin this around to get to her vitamins but we also have the ibuprofen and Tylenol and stuff right at hands reach before I had them in a basket <clears throat> that you had to take out and dig around in so I just feel like this might work a little bit better and then I put this second one up here and that's just for you know some of my extra vitamins that don't fit there <clears throat> and um extra Tylenol and stuff I may end up moving these extras to the bathroom but I have found that when I do that I forget I have them and so that's why I want to keep them where I can see them um and then I just moved um my husband's medicine up there because he doesn't take medicine every day like me and Bo do and then this is my um holiday coffee and stuff so I do have more coffee stuff up there that I don't use often so that's that I didn't rearrange anything as far as moving it from one location to another I just organized it a little better with those lazy Susans so I think that's going to be it for this video I do have some more work to do in my big freezer the last thing I told y'all was that it was going out, but we found the problem, I think. And so I'm letting that defrost so I can get all that ice out of the fan and, um, you know, plug it back up and put my stuff back in it. If it works, we'll have to see. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment so that I know that you've been here. Bye.